what's up, man? I'd love to get these for my lady. Oh, nice. That's the way love goes. And I was wondering if you had these in the size six and a half. These right here? Yeah. You can wear these anytime in any place. Excuse me? Yo, I need these black cats, like right now. Watch your step. Excuse me? Can uh, I have some help, please? Yes. I was looking for something, I don't know, maybe a, a high top kind of. These are all for you. Oh, honey, very cute, but I, I know what you're doing. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with the Grammy Award-winning, Emmy Award-winning, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Janet Jackson. How you doing? I'm um, well, thank you. And you? Doing great. Good. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what she's feeling, what she's not, and then hopefully she's going to buy some sneakers. For sure. Let's go. Janet, I want to take it all the way back. Do you remember what you wore in the Pleasure Principal video? Yeah, the wrestling shoes. Adidas wrestling yeah, shoes. Yeah. So were those good for function? And what was that choice like? I loved it. it I loved the look of it, the style and wearing those out, which I would from time to time, mm -hmm. just with my jeans. It was, they were very easy to dance in. Okay. I felt like I had control of it, the grip of the floor. I could feel gripping with my toes. So that, that I love. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to like wearing a platform, I wouldn't want to dance in or heel, which I saw sometimes do. Okay. I like dancing in sneakers. And back then, was it tough to find a dancing shoe? You know, now we have so many different iterations, but like, was it tough to find a good functional dancing shoe? That's why like the wrestling shoes came into play? Well, the, well to find a dancing shoe, well, the, the sneakers were for looks and then were the all, also for, for training, for mm -hmm. working out. So it was really about something that I liked, the look of it, and I would wind up wearing that for a rehearsal. Totally. And, and it, it was important for it to have a strong Toe? toe box, yeah. Yeah, for sure, and not the soft, because when you dance, a lot of times you have to roll up onto the tip of your toe. Mm -hmm. And if not, that can either hurt your foot or... I would break it past the point of my skin a lot. Really? So, yeah, so okay. it's important for me to have a... So many, like, iconic fits, but uh, this with the Nike Cortez. Yeah, I loved those. Yeah. Loved, I was about 16. Nike Cortez yeah, classic shoes. That you, was it for me. Do you remember, like, when those low-profile Nike started coming into play? It, you, you know it was about comfort yeah. for me. That's what made me fall in love with them, for sure. Is It still is about comfort for me now. Yeah. But definitely with all the dancing. Yeah, dancing was the, the big focus. Mm -hmm. In all the years, were you ever offered a sneaker deal? Did you ever have that conversation? Do you? No. Really? No. No brand ever approached you? No. And as much as I, I wore and still wear mm -hmm. sneakers, no. Interesting. We're in the store surrounded by Jordans. He was a big fan. There's a story that I found where uh, Kyle Brand, who has a football show, a, this is a deep cut, was trying to meet Michael Jordan. He was a kid. And he was like, I was waiting outside the, the Bulls United Center and like all the players were coming through. And then I was like, I'm not gonna meet him. And then all of a sudden a Ferrari pulled up, blasting Rhythm Nation. And <laughs> it was him. <laughs> it was, met my, and it was Michael Jordan. What was it like coming up? And he was a big fan. Like, do you have any MJ stories? Uh, yeah, I do, but I'm not gonna show Okay, <laughs> but like, he was a big fan, like a big cosign. Yeah, he, he, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> But like, is it crazy to see? Yeah, I think he's a, he's a wonderful guy. Very nice guy. Obviously and an icon. Yes. He's still going strong. I think it's incredible. Yeah. I think it's incredible. And then another thing, you know, we're at this station. I heard that you get Jordans. Ooh, I heard that you get Jordans sometimes. Yeah, what are we, I, I do. the Dior, rare Jordans. Yeah, what yeah. happened with these? These were given to me. Okay. And the great shoes. Amazing, rare. Yeah, I, I, yes, very rare. And I, I wore them. And there are times when it's a, it's a little too high. Okay. The top is, so it cuts strongly into my ankle. Right, right. Yeah, which is, that was the case with these. You're really gonna make me say this. So I wound up giving them away. Wow, what a friend. Oh my God. Yeah, you I, just gave the Dior Jordan ones away. I, I wore them once. Wow. It was just too much. But they're beautiful. I loved really them. Really nice. I loved them, yeah. And I always ask this because I'm always fascinated. Do you remember like the last time you were in like a shopping mall for sneakers? How, how many years must have? Decades, right? Mm -hmm. 30? I can't even remember. Honestly, I can't even remember. Wow, okay. 
Do you like coming to stores like this and just seeing how big this culture got? I absolutely love it. This is like a, a sneaker heaven. Yes. Sneaker haven. Yeah. Um, it's it's great. And it's nice to be able to shop like this. Yes. There's nobody else kind of around so you can really have a good look and no one's kind of wondering if it's you or staring at you or take a picture yes. of you. It's great. It makes it so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've got my eye on a few things okay. that I'm looking at. I want to ask, I'm not sure if you're going to remember, do you remember Michael and Michael doing the epic video? Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Was that like a big thing in the family? Like two icons, obviously? I loved it. I mean, we never discussed it, but okay. I thought it was so awesome. Yeah. So awesome. I loved it. Yeah. It, it's Listen, may he rest in peace, my yes. brother. They're just both brilliant. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Just So it's, it's nice that we have that memory. Absolutely. We can hold on to that. Another thing I got to ask, the auction. There was a big auction and I was looking online and there were so many Janet Jackson sneakers that went to auction. One that stuck out. We're talking about platforms. We're talking about the Cortezes. What about these Comme de Garçons? Oh my gosh, Comme de Garçons. You wore those yeah. a lot? Like, great shoe? You loved it. It gave me the height that I wanted when I was in that mood. Yeah. And comfortable. Yes. Comfortable, yeah. They sold for like $3,300. Is that crazy to see? <laughs> 3300 I, I guess I guess so. Yeah. Not as much as the Terry Dior ones, but I love you for that. <laughs> you know? 3300 we're getting yes. up there. And you've had so many iconic fits throughout your career, but one moment that came up that I actually like this morning I saw Northwest and the Poetic Justice. Oh, how cute. Did you ever see this? No, I didn't. Yeah, so this was like last year, Kim and Kanye's daughter, Northwest, and yes. Kim just said Poetic Justice. How cute. What's it like to see like generational fits that, whether it was a movie or a music video, still stand up to today that you had? I, you know, I'm very fortunate, I'm very blessed, and I can't obviously take credit for all of that. It was, you know, everyone that was involved, and may he rest in peace, John Singleton, but mm. I think it's wonderful when you have something that's stands up and stands the test of time and generation after generation they're really into it and still love it and watch it i get people comment a lot on, yes. on that film still to this day definitely yeah so it's it's nice to see that absolutely you love like platform sneakers mm -hmm. how were you wearing them your whole career and what was it about those types of sneakers that like you really like not my whole career mm -hmm. i mean because I, I, platforms they've come and gone mm -hmm. but I, it was once again i i, I it depends upon the style mm -hmm. like i have on my yes mm -hmm. Adina, but i i love these because i was like a little bit of a heel some some height but yet comfort another comfort shoe i know you've had a ton of these Nike shocks throughout the- I love the how that just flew yeah. in. Yeah, <laughs> I, I haven't missed once. Nike yes, shocks, you wore a, a lot. lot. I performed yes. in them before. Yeah, once again, it's that comfort. And I, I know I keep saying that, but it really is, it's important when you're always on your feet and always yeah. dancing and having to get foot massages. Mm -hmm. Comfortable, very comfortable. Supreme, they did these. Yeah, ones. Supreme yeah. did a, did a special nice. iteration. Yeah. And breaking them in, that's the thing, having to break them in so yeah. you get that, that forced arch being able to get on. And to break them toe. in so you just don't go immediately to dance in them, what's the process of breaking new shoes in? Wearing them, um, sometimes just taking them and bending them and working them. Okay. Yeah, a lot because yeah. they really get broken in. And to be the, the way they fit on the foot as well, not having a lot of room, but snug. That's why the Asics are so nice, I think, too. And coincidentally, <laughs> here we are. You know, Asics yeah. were like super running shoes, which they still are, but Great. now they're having like a fashion moment. Yeah. I originally bought them for training. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, wait a second. Yeah. I could probably rehearse in these. Yes. Which is so funny, because I've often said, I'm going to do a tour where we just wear sweats and sneakers. That's it. Okay. Because wearing the heels and all that. Okay, it's cute and all this, but I, I want comfort. So maybe we'll see one day a full sneaker tour? Yeah, that's that's great. Let's okay. speak to Gil about it, my creative director. Okay. He, he used to dance with me, so he was a dancer at okay. one point for a very long time. What could fans expect from the tour? Not, you know, we oh talked gosh. about the function, but yeah. what can fans well, expect from the tour? No sneakers, unfortunately. Okay. At least I always wind up changing something okay. in the show. So it might, well, at the end of the tour, it might be that. It's the Together Again tour, but it's the, the base of that, but mm -hmm. it's changed. It's different. 
set list is different. There might be a couple of new songs that okay. no one's ever heard before. Songs that I've never actually performed before mm -hmm. that have been on my albums in, in the uh, show. A little bit of the set is different. Wardrobe. Okay. It's different. Okay, so more so, iconic fits in the mix. Yeah, so it's 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 different from the last one. Awesome. Yeah. Well, talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're gonna take home. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay. Can you see anything you like today? Actually, yes. I'd like to try a little something for my baby, for my son. Sure. For Isa. Can I can I see these? Sure, we definitely have those. Yeah, I like that. And as well as maybe these. Those, all right. And and this over here, the yes. classic. This one right here? No, over. Yes, please. I think he'd like those. We definitely have that for you. Awesome. And <laughs> I can't reach for gotcha. these here. These one right here? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you definitely have your size. Awesome. All right, what else you like, Mrs. Jackson? Can I, I'm not really a, a pink person, but let me try this, because it's like a dusty, dusty rose. Like a, like a rust pink almost? Yeah, gotcha. dusty rose kind of. And um, I saw a pair of Asics kit sure. that I like. Mm -hmm. And I like those Rihanna's, the ones that she did with my The Fenties? Yeah, those are cool. In black. We definitely had that in your size. We're going to bring it to the register, okay? Thank you. No problem. Hi, did we find everything okay today? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so your total is going to be $2,000 with 21 cents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very, very much. So, the legendary Janet Jackson came through. Thank you so much for taking the time. No, thank you for having me. Really. Appreciate it. Make sure you check out the Together Again tour, a new documentary coming. Stay tuned. Thanks again. Thank you. Let me get these for you. Okay, I can help with something. You sure? And I'm positive. Let me at least carry two. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. 